Is it okay to be racist towards white people? I don't personally believe that you can be racist towards white people. What? Is it okay to be racist towards white people? I don't think you can be racist towards white people. Is it okay to be racist towards white people? I don't think it's possible to be racist towards white people. What do you mean by that? Racism was invented by white people? Racism and means that there needs to be a system of oppression, and since generally white people are the ones controlling that system of oppression, I think it's very challenging for someone else to be racist towards us. The white liberal savior complex has come to save the day again. Apparently in today's day and age, you cannot be racist against black people these people are a product of the propaganda that has been going on in society and they're all just like sheep somebody decides to loot a gucci or a macy's or a nike because that makes sure that that person eats that makes sure that that person has clothes that's reparations that is reparations anything they want to take take it because these businesses have insurance they're gonna get their money back my people aren't getting anything. Is a puppy a life worthy of respect and value? Uh, yes, because it is separate from a human being. Is a blade of grass something that's life and worthy of our respect and value? Uh, that depends. It probably could be comparable to a fertilized egg, so that's up to you. Is a fish in the ocean a piece of life worthy of our respect and value? Same thing as a blade of grass. How about a single-celled organism on Mars? How about a human fetus? I'm, that's what I'm asking. If a, is a single-celled organism on Mars life that's worthy of respect and value? That's probably a better question to ask yourself than me. I believe it is. Do you believe it is? Is it life? I'm defining it as life as a living yes. single-celled organism. It's a living cell, but does it have moral weight and value? Well, that's a great question. See, now we've come back to the beginning of this very long, very important productive conversation that there are differences between different types of life, right? They're, they're living beings, they're living organisms, but there are moral differences and moral hierarchies between different types of biological organisms. I would beg to differ that a human being, in or out of the womb, is worthy of our respect and value and protection. And I find it so ironic that so many people will say a single-celled organism on Mars or a blade of grass or a fish in the ocean or a puppy is worthy of our undying respect, support, and protection, but a human being isn't mean to be trans? What does it mean to be trans? I don't know. I've never He's asking asking you. can get an answer to that question. I'm asking you. Well, you just claimed you're trans. I am trans. And I'm asking you what that means. What does it mean to you? Well, I would tell you that transition is something well, you do. Don't tell me Wait, you don't tell anybody shit. Okay, well, you asked you what just, it means. You, just asked asked, you literally just asked so, us to tell you what it means. Transition is something well, you do, you it's not something you are. Well, no, yeah. you, you have the opportunity here to, like, educate a couple hundred thousand people online about what it means to be trans. Educate people online. Educate people online about what? Well, well why are you what it is blocking this? Why are you blocking? Why are you here? What, what message do you want to give people? Okay, here's the message. We're yeah. listening. Y'all are a bunch of fascists using okay. the transgender medicine as a spearhead for your fascist mm -hmm. takeover of the country because you're patriarchal white supremacists, and this is just what it is, and y'all know what it is. Why, why are we we're white supremacists? What is your evidence for even saying that besides just well, being a jerk to us? White. Right. You're white. And like white supremacy, it. The, Are you a white supremacist? The tip of the spear of white supremacy is anti transgender oh. discourse, right? It always goes back to that old adage sticks and stones may break my bones, but there will always be something to offend a feminist. That's just obnoxious. Peter Lloyd, you have to smirk. Wait, I'm not going to carry on. That is ridiculous. That, no, hang on, I won't do your show again if you don't let me respond. Papa hot take. Okay. Racial preference is racist. I was recently dating a guy and he expressed very aggressively that he would not have intercourse with a black woman because of their hair and skin. And he defended it as a being preference, but really it's flat out racism. I think anyone who hasn't experienced racism shouldn't say anything about it. Full stop. Well, okay, cool. So I grew up quite a while, five years in a black neighborhood. I got in a fight every other day for it because I had red hair. They called me a rooster. I literally got in fights every day. So you got bullied. That's not racism. He wasn't oppressed. We were the ones that oppressed, so you can't call that racism. In 2023, how are you oppressed? Because I got news for you, honey. If you had a skill set that was worth something to somebody, you would be the richest in here. So say we didn't exist. This is very important to me. I have a lot of young black men that follow me. There's no way on earth I'm going to let them believe that they have a lesser chance than anybody else if they just work their ass off. There's no
Wait, I'm not shitting on their dreams like that. I'll be damned. Looking at racism is for broke people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> da -da -da -da. I'm a black me, girl. Boy, what? You're so much more than that. You're so much more than that. Oh, yeah, I know. I am. Then don't lead I'm with it. It's bullshit. No, I lead, it's bullshit. Listen, Brethren, I didn't lead with it. Snatched off my headdress. Harassment, <laughs> yo. Yeah, it's harassment. They snatched off my headdress. We got the black pilgrim here. They snatched it off this entire class. They were stalking us, and they uh, ripped off my stuff. Great. What's up guys, this is Will Witt with Tribe PragerU and today we went to California State University Northridge to give out a pumpkin pie and ask people what they're thankful for. Unfortunately, it got a little out of hand and crazy and we ended up getting chased off campus. Take a look. If I hear about and I can do something, best believe I'm gonna show up. Right, you have your First okay. Amendment right to do yeah. that. Yeah, like and I we respect your First Amendment this. rights. So thank you. You guys don't, like this is racist as f Why not me? Why not me? Why not no, me? this guy's racist too. The Native Americans class. Brock came out <laughs> to so yell at us. We're f***ing college and if you put that shit anywhere, like, you're f***ing dead, bro. You're so, fucking, uh, is that a threat? Oh, you're endangering me because of you. There's a there's f an Indian thing. I'm not it's endangering not even... Where? Anyone. I'm because standing here. So here we go with the woke college students coming with the same rhetoric that they have every day. What you're doing is killing people like ourselves. For some reason, I don't know how that's happening. What's going to be funny with this video is the fact that there's a black guy in this video. So I want to see what's going to go on in this because, you know, they can't touch black people, apparently, because we are untouchable because we are oppressed. Apparently, that's what the liberals and the leftists say. We're oppressed and we can't do anything except for when we have our white saviors. Okay, to dress up like me. For you to come out here and just like think you could just wear this with like no meaning is like. Can you explain I don't like understand. why specifically it's offensive? It's a f caricature. Like you guys are like literally playing and, and, and like you're dressed up as a pilgrim. You know, there's no offense, but there was like no black people as pilgrims. Like they were fing wrecking. There actually your was. Shit. I looked at that. We're black pilgrims. Okay, but what about the natives then? Okay, I'm sorry about that. Thanksgiving is celebrating, celebrating peace. Us. It's them coming together it and really having a dinner celebrating together. Us. The first Thanksgiving feast was to celebrate the slaughter of Native Americans. It actually wasn't like the first feast wasn't really honoring any. But nobody celebrates it like that now. Woke college students want to be offended so bad. I think what happens is because of the fact that they go throughout their day with any type of enjoyment or any type of eventfulness during their day they just need to find something to be offended at and it was hilarious that this girl tried to correct the black guy in terms of there being no black pilgrims and then she got corrected and that and said oh i'm sorry it just goes to show you that as i keep saying in all my videos they just regurgitate the same things that they hear from social media they hear from their friends and they possibly even hear from the teachers on their campus unfortunately i remember learning about propaganda a long time ago back in secondary school and it's just funny to see how it's taking place in today's society. Typically a class you would spend reading books. So they sent a whole class out to get us. This Native American class is now sent out to come and, and talk to us. I don't identify as a man of color. Stop calling me that. Stop calling me that. They snatched off my headdress. That's harassment, yo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's harassment. <laughs> it's not your campus. It's not your campus. It's a public campus. It's not your campus. All right, guys, so you just witnessed what we had to go through here at California State University, Northridge. Pretty insane. Uh, some people came up to us, started yelling at us, and then one of the Native American professors actually went. She got her entire class to come out and yell at us and call us racist. They told me as a person of color that I should be ashamed of myself <laughs> for being friends with Will. Yeah, you should. You should. White people Jesus. are disgusting. White people are disgusting. These people are absolutely sad and they'll be the ones that will run around claiming how they love everyone and they're so accepting of everyone until you disagree with their own opinion. That's when they will show you how much they actually really do hate people. But anyway, that was another video, another reaction. As I usually say, if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible, comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Yinka That Guy, and I am out.